Okay guys, so I didn't want to have to make this video, but we're going to have to talk. We're going to have to talk about something big, which is going to happen tomorrow night when the Acolyte comes out, or maybe tonight, depending on your time zone, depending on where you live. There are some big rumors, big leaks going around, so if you don't want any spoilers, I'd recommend clicking off this video pretty soon, but you should stay around just to hear the base. I won't give any spoilers at the start. But basically, there are some big rumors that something bad is going to happen, something on the level of TLJ. Something that will split the fandom in half, maybe worse than what The Last Jedi did. So to keep it brief and spoiler free, there's going to be some events that are depicted in Episode 3 that absolutely change the way we view the Force forever. Something which will change the way George Lucas certainly defined the Force, but even what has been understood in all of the post-Disney content, all of the post-canon reboot, reboot content after 2014, all of that is seemingly going to be thrown away. So for the non-spoiler version, I'll leave it there. If you don't want spoilers, click off now. But Basically, we have a Force Dyad between the two sisters, May and Osha. That's fine, that's nothing, that's nothing too bad. The Force Dyad is it's a good fantasy concept. There's nothing wrong with that. But then we get something which is a redefinition of the Force from the witch colony that they come from. So they come from a witch colony which is all female, which is, a, which is not unexpected. That's what witches are. But apparently they're redefining the Force as a thread which can be pulled. Something which can be manipulated to your will. Something which you can bend to your will. Now this is a dark side show, but... From the, what the leaks say, now these could be completely wrong, I haven't seen the episode, many people have though. From what the leaks say, the show wants you to think that this is the true and proper way that the Force should be viewed, and this is not just the perspective of the Force Witches. If that's the case, that's a complete redefinition of what George gave us, and it's definitely not in line with any of George's content. I mean, not that we have to follow George's content, he's, he's left the franchise now, we don't have to follow exactly what he did, although we should be pretty faithful to it. But it's also a redefinition of what we got post-2014 in the new canon anyway. So... Another thing that is pretty, pretty shocking is that both of the twins are conceived by the Force. Now, this seems to be an allegory to Anakin, seems to be a, a parallel to Anakin's story, how Anakin had no father. It seems that these twins both have no father either, but they do have a mother in the witch colony. Now, <clears throat> one way to look at this in, in a non-bad way is that this is the dark side, the dark side temptations that Plagueis and Tenebris were doing that caused the Force to strike back and create Anakin in the first place. That's one explanation. Although we haven't even seen Plagueis in the show yet. We haven't even seen Tenebris in the show yet. We don't know if this is the right timeline. We don't know if they're going to keep those characters from Legends. Which are great characters. I mean, Plagueis, you have to keep it because he's, in, he's mentioned in Revenge of the Sith. Although we just don't know if we're in the right timeline for that. So if that's the case, that's, that's, that's a reasonable way to look at it. If it's not, then the, that puts these twins on the same level as Anakin Skywalker, the Chosen One. This will completely redefine the prophecy of Anakin Skywalker and the Chosen One. And Anakin being that Chosen One. This will mean that many things, many, 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 many things about the prequels will change. And this is not just a looking back, a nostalgic look back in a redefinition sort of way. This is happening before the prequels, remember. This is the High Republic. This is happening a few hundred years before the prequels. So if this is correct, this redefines everything past the point of the High Republic, which is the prequels, which is the originals, even the sequels, everything is redefined if this is true. I'm not saying it's true, I haven't seen it, I don't know. If it is, we're in for a big fandom split, I can tell you that. So to be prepared, I want you all to be prepared for what's going to happen. Just remember, be civil online, if possible, be civil on Twitter. If the war breaks out, don't get too into it. At the end of the day, this, this can all be fixed with the canon reboot. Canon's already destroyed, so <laughs> there's already been plenty of retcons from Dave Filoni, as you can see in the video on screen right now. But if it does go that way, don't get too heated. But I'm telling you, Twitter and YouTube will be heated, so get yourselves ready. And let's, let's get in and let's watch episode 3 and let's see what happens. Thanks so much guys for watching, I just wanted to leave you, leave you with this little, little update before the show comes out, before episode 3 comes out. If you enjoy it, let me know in the comments after the episode. If you don't enjoy it, also let me know, but keep it civil, and I'll see you in the next video.